What's up, everybody? What's up, Imuna Nation? So, I thought about what to share today, and um, I was thinking about sharing some of the things that go on with me, some of the things that go on in my in my uh, mind, in my uh, emotional emotional being. And I think maybe some people can connect, or at least connect on your own level, in your own way that that uh, that can be applied to you in your life. And um, I definitely don't have the answers. I definitely haven't figured it out. I'm not standing at a place where I can say that I know the know the or that I have taken the the best path every single time, or I have I'm at the end of the tunnel or or bridge or whatever 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 journey you want to compare it to. But I find myself many times. Uh, go, going through certain certain times and certain moments where one where it, at one moment I am very very inspired, very have a lot of good energy, a lot of very positive mindset, where I really f- feel like fresh breath and I feel good, my good intentions and and positivity, and then as crazy as it sounds but maybe some people can relate a few like literally sometimes sometimes it can be a few minutes later or a few hours later or i would say the next day but like almost and then it never lasts that long but it's okay but and then i'm then i'm going to places where i feel like very negative mindset can be angry can be frustrated can be can be like basically like full of of horrible horrible feelings and um and i asked rob drawer before many times and he said that this is just like the the yitzhara the evil inclination when you're feeling positive and when you're feeling good and and happy the the yitzhara like attacks you and tries to bring you down and tries to make you um, come to negative conclusions and and unfortunately I find myself in those places where I'm feeling negative feeling um, like bad feeling bad with myself feeling just bad in general and it's a very horrible thing because when I'm in those positive mindsets it's like I'm it's so clear that this is the truth that this is the way I need to go that this is how I need to act, and this is this is what the truth is. This is how the whole world needs to feel. But then later I'm falling. So, so what can I do? And I don't know the answer except to take the advice that that that's been given to Rav Dror, That things that Rav Dror make says makes so much sense, and and when they're applied, they're so beneficial. And and for sure it's not it's not always easy and and like i said earlier it's it's falling many i've fallen in, into horrible mindsets into horrible attitudes many many times but but i've always had the power and i always have the power to to rise up to not to not fall completely to not to to not give up on the good and and that's what I believe we need to do is not give up on the good because we're living in very very difficult times and and people can go their whole lives without without any sort of internal awareness without any sort of emotional awareness and and when you get when you get some emotional awareness when you get like when when you have like somebody to wake you up like like and to and to remind you to bring you inside to bring yourself inside to have to have self awareness that you need to be good and you need to do good things in the world that should be like a completely like new thing for for you to take seriously and and it's okay if you find yourself falling from that because it's not where you started and and another thing that Rav Dora told me one time thank God is that like it's like a pendulum and really Rav, Rav Dror wasn't the first person to that I that I heard that from but but what he said is he said is that we're coming from such let's say let's say unholy places that when we 
when we try to bring ourselves to goodness or holiness you can say or goodness or the proper way the way that we believe we should that it's not just like one-sided and you swing and that's it you're you're now you made it in the right side that it's that it's back and forth until you find your balance and and it's a really beautiful thing when when people decide like oh wow like this is something i really need to need to take seriously is to be good and to and to maybe change some of the things in my life to, to put myself on a more positive direction and it's something and i found that it's something that we really need to hold on to and, and that for sure that i learned from our doors that we really need to hold on to that desire to to be good and that it's not it's something that we need to work for it's not just gonna happen by we can we can be inspired we can recognize that it's the right thing to do it's so clear and obvious that it's that we need to be good people but it's 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 for many many people myself included like it needs to be taken with a lot of work and a lot of effort and it's something that we need to hold on to that that desire that we need to be good or else we'll get the desire and then god forbid it will we it'll be gone because because god forbid because basically what i'm saying is we need to we need to hold on and put it into action so uh, wherever you find yourself wherever you wherever you feel like you're you're in a good place and you feel good but then you you're saying but then but then you don't know what's going on when you when you get out of that good place like you can know that, that that's what i think so i think we're all i think i can say that we're all going through those those things and it's just a question of of not giving up on on the good in yourself and um, and i'm very satisfied every time every every horrible thing that i go through i'm very very satisfied when i when i come to the good perspective again even if it seems for so short because in those in those moments i know that 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 i'm on a, i'm on the right path and i'm on a good path and i'm happy with myself and i wouldn't want to be anywhere else so those are the things that we need to hold on to and work on Bezat Hashem and um, we're, we're, it's an individual path that, that the person needs to walk themselves but there's, you're not alone, that, uh, really you're not alone, there are people who are trying um, to be good in the world and who recognize it's the right thing to do and who want to do good. So everybody have a good day. And, Bezat Hashem, an uh, inspiring day, and God, God willing, an inspiring day. And um, I found that in my journey, it's been so beneficial to take time out every day where you, where you talk to talk to the Creator, where you talk to God, and you can talk to yourself and calm your mind and relax your mind and figure out what you really want in life. And it's just an incredibly beneficial thing that. I think anybody who's inspired by these words, who's inspired to walk down their own path, their own their own meaningful path, that it's something that uh, every person, like I want to say, needs without any pressure, without any pressure and fear. It's something that everybody needs to needs to do. So, um, Rav Dror has many many amazing videos about how to pray. You can Google how to pray Rav Dror or something like that. And if you listen to him, when I listened to him, I really found, I really learned how to express myself and how to, how to bring out the feelings that I had inside and how to bring out those feelings into words. And uh, I've seen so many results from those prayers and, and I know that everybody who does that will also see good results and, and I have faith in the Creator that, that it works. So everybody have a good day, a blessed day, be well.